You see this table? Quite obviously, it represents some data. There are three channels, and there was a study which was done which gave the percentage of people who preferred a particular channel. So, channel number one was preferred by 30% of the people, two by 25% of the people, and three by 45% of the people. Now, if I want to represent this in the form of a beautiful pie chart, can I do that? Yes, for that, I need to find the angles of different sectors that will form the pie chart. The total angle at the center of the circle you know is 360 degrees. Let's draw this table. It will make our task much easier. In the first column, you have the channels 1, 2, and 3. Second column gives you the percentage of people who preferred the respective channel 30, 25, and 45 percent. In the third column, we find the corresponding fraction. So 30 percent is 30 by 100 or 3 by 10, 25 percent is 25 by 100 or 1 by 4, and similarly, 45 percent is 9 by 20. Now we need to find the corresponding angle. Total angle was 360 degrees. So 3 tenth of 360 degrees. That is 3 by 10 into 360, which is 108 degrees. For channel 2, it is 1 fourth of 360 degrees, which is 90 degrees. And for channel 3, process remains the same. You get 162 degrees. So now we've got the angles of the sectors. Now all we need to do is draw our pie chart. What is the first thing you will do? Obviously, you will draw a circle with any convenient radius. That does not matter. Mark its center O and the radius OA. Once you've done that, let's move back to our table. The first channel, the corresponding angle is 108 degrees. Take a protractor and draw angle AOB as 108 degrees. That has given you the first sector. Similarly, Draw the remaining sectors for angles 90 degrees and 162 degrees and you've got your pie chart to represent the given data.